Absolutely, Craig. It has been a long time coming for fans to get back to Swayze Field for some Ole Miss baseball. In fact, when the coronavirus kind of ended things last year, I would argue there wasn't a hotter team in college baseball than the Ole Miss Rebels. So, as a result of that, they haven't lost the game in 376 days. And right now we're in the bottom of the third. And Cale Baker just launched a two run jack to put the Rebels up three to nothing over Arkansas State. But for the fans, the atmosphere, as you mentioned, because of coronavirus restrictions, is a little bit different. In accordance with the state laws, the Swayze Field can only be at 25% capacity. Left field seating, usually a free for all, is limited to pods of two and four. For a midweek game like today, left field is general admission. Weekend series will be reserved seating. The same goes for student seating out in right field. The usually packed student section certainly won't be as raucous as in years past. But after talking with a few students, they're just happy to have baseball back in Oxford. Morning, saw we were number one, got pumped. Now we're here. See, it feels good, you know, because last season we were without it, and a lot of the guys here, you know, being without baseball is kind of like just a different part of life yeah. for them, and it's something that just makes everybody feel better, especially Ole Miss baseball. It's a huge part of the culture here, and we're just really glad to have it back so we can all be here together. And of course, if you're not eating or drinking, as I'm doing right now, you have to mask up while you're in the stadium. This weekend, the Rebels will host their first three-game series against UCF. Mississippi State also held their home opener today. Rhea Thornton will be live from Duty Noble Field at three 6. Runs. But for right now, reporting in Oxford, Matt St. Jean, WTVA 9 Sports.